Hello, everybody. This is the Business Boot Up edition of the Dreamers and Doers podcast. I'm Braden. I'm joined by my awesome co host, Sammy Grace. Hi, Braden. Each week we will come to you live from the Normous Farmers Market, where we recruit interviews from our youngest and our more experienced entrepreneurs to help you and give you leadership advice to you start your own business. Our podcast is powered by LoveWorks Leadership, a youth organization based right out of here in Oklahoma that's helping kids start actual real businesses. We believe that you're never too young to start a business and turn your dream into reality. So let's meet our first guest, John Haas. FGF Microgreens is a started in October of 2020. Disappointed in the produce that was present at the onset of the pandemic at the grocery stores, John Haas began his search for growing nutritious produce, produce for himself. He found microgreens and found that they were actually more nutritious stored in a small package than the full-grown counterpart. That was quickly quicker and easier to grow. So let's meet John Haas. How are you doing today? Good, how are you doing? Doing pretty good. How's the farmer's market going so far? Excellent. It's been a great day at the farmer's market. That is fantastic to hear. So let's just jump in right to our questions. We are super excited to learn more about you and your story. So just to start off, did you always have an interest in business growing up? Yes, I've always been looking for that that little niche that I can uh, just kind of break out for me and, you know, work for myself. And uh, yeah, hopefully we found it here. Yeah, that's super So simple. what... Let's jump back into what the business we're here for today and the interview. What is your business and how did it how did it start? Well, it started at actually the onset of the pandemic. I was in the grocery store and I, there was no produce to pick from and the stuff that was there just really didn't look that good. So I, uh, I started thinking about what I could do for myself to you know grow my own produce in a small space. And that's when I stumbled across microgreens and uh, found out I can grow a ton of these in a really small space and they're, they're more nutritious than the adults. Yeah. So when we were talking about the small space, was this like a backyard challenge or what was it? Uh, no, this is actually, it's in my garage. Oh wow. I converted my entire garage into a lab and, uh, and now we just uh, we, we grow microgreens in the garage. That is super, super cool. So today we're hoping to inspire our younger entrepreneurs out there. And so we want to take it back a little bit of like, what would be an idea for these, I, for these young entrepreneurs out there to put their dreams into action? Uh, just find something you can be passionate about. If you can be passionate about it and, and, and pursue it uh, with that with a high amount of passion, it's very hard to fail. So it's just, so, it encourages hard work and uh, hard work uh, brings success. So what was the process of this? Once you decided to get going on, on this business, what was the process? What did it look like? Uh, well, it started out with a lot of research, uh, just a lot of research, and, uh, and and even when I thought I'd done so much research that I'm ready, I still found out there I, I didn't really know anything. So it's just uh, uh, it's it's been a learning process the whole way, and uh, but the biggest thing is is just uh, research. Do a lot of research. So, so, what was one thing when you were when you started your business that you wish that you wish you knew about starting? I wish I would have known about all of the, the, the little things that cost you money in starting up your own business. Uh, it's just, uh, you can think about equipment and all that stuff, the larger things that, uh, that cost you uh, what seems like the most amount of money, but it's, it's actually all the little things that uh, I wish I would have known about all the little things. All right, to kind of wrap us up, before our last question, what is that like one bit of tip that you want to give to our listeners out there to turn their business into reality? I would say, uh, like, I, like I mentioned earlier, find that, uh, that, that thing you're passionate about and, uh, and of course if you can find something that people just can't live without, you're going to succeed. I love that. Thank you so much for your time. I know this is going to make our listeners so much better just hearing your words and being inspired through it. So viewers, we'll be right back very soon with our next guest. All right, dreamers and doers, we are back with our next guest. So let's meet our next guest, Annabelle. Annabelle is 11 years old and she just completed her fifth grade year at Washington Elementary School. She'll be heading to Irving Middle School in the fall. Annabelle loves swimming, reading, and making bracelets. She started her bracelet business, Be Happy Beads, after getting a bracelet making kit for her birthday. All right, so everybody welcome Annabelle. I know you guys are listening in virtually. So Annabelle, how are you doing today? I'm doing good. That is super excited here. How's the farmer's market going? Uh, pretty good. So this is my second time, so I'm not as nervous as the first. That is awesome to hear. So we're really excited to learn more about you and your story. So what is your business and how did it start? Uh, well, 
like you said, I got a bracelet making kit for my birthday because I found one of my mom's old like like bead kits and I really wanted to make bracelets and stuff so my mom got me a bracelet making kit for my birthday and I just started making bracelets. All right. So today we're really trying to inspire our youngest entrepreneurs out there. You know, I know it's hard to come up with a business idea. So if you don't mind, how did you come up, you know, really dive in? How did you come up with this bracelet idea? Well, I really liked making bracelets and stuff. So, and like, I made them for like my, like family and my friends. And they thought it was really good. And they think, and they thought that I'd be like super successful if I started a business making so cool. So what is the biggest thing that you think you learned from being a part of the business uh, Buddha? Um, I guess. I don't really know. Lots of things pretty much. Um, um, Maybe make it a little know. bit easier. What, what has been the biggest thing you've learned by presenting at the farmer's market? Pitching. Um, that when you get lots of no's, you'll get a yes. I really, really, really like that. So for our last question, we just want you to, you know, dive in. If any tip you have to our young entrepreneurs out there, what tip would you give to them? Um, believe in yourself, and if you do, then you can make like make anything happen. All right, Annabelle, thank you so much for your time. I know that you are inspiring young entrepreneurs out there. You are actually starting your business, and I love to see it. So before we sign off, where can we find your business? Uh, you can find, well, I have a Facebook page, and I also have a, a Gmail that you can find me at. But if you can't do either of those things, I'll be at the farmer's market. All right. So, Brayden, those were some awesome interviews. I know that all of us are going to be better for listening to those. So what was something that really stood out to you? So I think when we talk about when John's interview, he really just broke into the fact that he saw a problem, he saw that there wasn't any good produce, and he wanted to fix that. And so he did. He went out into his garage, and he started making some microgreens. I love that he found that problem, and he solved it in his own way. I, I love that. And I really do think that, I love what she was saying, that Annabelle was saying, is that you just have to believe in yourself. And that is something that a lot of people, it takes courage and it takes a lot of willpower, but I love how she just did it at such a young age. So we have a special announcement. We are calling the Norman kids, ages 6 to 14, that want to enter an incredible business competition. All right, so Evergreen and Love Works Leadership are partnering with the Norman Farm Market and Norman Economic Devel Development Council to host the first annual Norman Acton Children's Business Fair coming up on July 24th. It's coming up soon. Limited spots remain for the special event. You can apply today at childrensbusinessfair.org or if you want to learn more about other business opportunities, you can check us out at loveworksleadership.org. Next week, we will be back with two new business owners that will hopefully inspire and educate you and give you this powerful form of action to grow your business. And don't forget to visit loveworksleadership.org so you can be a part of the next business Buddha. And remember, real leaders don't blend in, they stand out. Dream big. And do your dream. Bye, y'all. Yeah.